Who aren't streaming yet? We're already pushing like five megs out of here. How is that possible? I wasn't streaming yet, no. Now I am. He is now. Hi, stream. Hi, everyone. <laughs> hey, guys. Uh, we're getting set up. We are about to do an awesome, cool thing, but uh, you have to wait to see what, what that is. Yep, yep. Be right back. All right. Uh, what? It says what we're doing everywhere. I know. <laughs> Everybody like already knows what we're doing. <laughs> we just, uh, the, I was just teasing. That's All right, so uh, mute yourself, John. Oh, sorry, mute. Yep. Uh, anyway, so uh, we are going to get started here in a second. We already have our guest um, on the air, and we've been testing everything. I think everything is good, technically speaking. Except there's uh, an internet issue. John's trying to figure out. <laughs> uh, check phones. Usually that's the culprit. Yeah, I got it too. Scott's office is not. Okay, you're clear now. Dropbox. Is Matt? Is Matt? <laughs> sorry, guys. I'm so sorry about that. He, uh, oh, hopefully it doesn't happen again. It lost John's connection, so it, it was, went wacky. I'm sorry. <laughs> Oh, somebody did have something streaming out there. I hear them talking. So um, we're going to be ch paying attention to the chat room, so be sure to chime in with questions or comments or anything like that as we go through this uh, AutoCAD tutorial with, with Sketchbook. And if you uh, have not, if you want to follow along, that would be good. So you guys can go to what? Where were we directing people to? Uh, to download. Oh, uh, well, I was sending them directly to the Autodesk site. Okay. If you if you go to uh, Google.com/slash/plusjohnp, uh, there are links on on his uh, last posts where you can download it, so you can actually follow along and do it with us, if you so desire. I think that's the best way to learn, though, is live and, like, during the actual process. Yours is bigger, John. That's what she said. <laughs> <sighs> you have everything? I got you everything. You have two styli. I've got everything. I can't wait to learn how to do this. People are going to see how miserable I am at using a tablet. I want to use my touch screen as much as possible, but I think uh, Renee might tell me that I suck at the touch screen and I have to use a tablet. I would never use those words. Okay. She'd be much more polite, but here's how it will translate. Right. John, you may consider doing this a little differently. Oh, Paul is going to try and follow along. Awesome. Nice. Yeah, we'll see how many people, uh, 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 people after they, if they follow along, then afterwards they can like tweet what they drew and we can all compare yeah. what everybody do, did together. Yeah, Paul actually said earlier since we're going to be, uh, well, I guess we shouldn't tell people what we're going to be drawing. Nope. Okay. <laughs> Paul suggested sharing it. Yeah. Sharing their versions. I think everybody should share what they're drawing. Yes. That'd be fun. Um. Okay. Uh, Mr. Is Mr. Peterson around? Would you take care of, would you do the honors of letting everyone know that we're uh, getting started right now, sir? Thank you very much. And if Peterson is not watching, Ben, can you uh, tell Peterson to do that? Yeah. <laughs> and then we can play telephone. So uh, as we're, 
as we're getting started or right before, you know, right at the beginning, one thing that I want to mention is that this uh, app is available on like every freaking platform and device you can imagine. Actually, we had a question about Windows Phone. Is it? There's not a Windows Phone app, unfortunately. Yeah. There's a Windows 8 app, and then it'll also run with the desktop of like right. an, um, a Pro machine. Okay. So we'll talk about that. Um, and then let's just briefly touch on some of the differences between the free version or versions and the paid version. Yeah, then, sure. Yeah, and then after that, we can just introduce, hey, here's what we're going to do, and we can try it. Okay, <laughs> sounds good to me. Okay. Ken, you got to talk in the microphone because I can't hear you. Yep. We're going to do we'll, a teaser yeah, and then we'll, run the and run intro. The I see what you said. Sorry. Okay. Hey guys, I'm John P. And I'm Callie Lewis. Today on Geek Beat, we have a very special episode for you. We're going to teach you how to use Sketchbook Pro. Right now. Here we go. Wait, wait, Not the smoothest intro we've ever had in our lives, <laughs> that's but that's right. okay. It doesn't matter. We're just distracted and excited because we actually have a very special guest with us. We've got Renee here. She's from Autodesk, and she is the community manager for Sketchbook Pro. Hey, Renee. Hey, guys. <laughs> So uh, you you've obviously you know all about Sketchbook Pro and um, and all the variants of Sketchbook and all the variants. Uh, there are variants. So uh, let's talk about that. What uh, is the difference between? Oh, well, there's a lot of differences. It depends on uh, what hardware you're using Sketchbook on and which version you're using. Um, we've done our best to sort of make the most of all the architecture, including like <laughs> iPads and phones and, and everything that we can to get everyone able to draw so that you don't need a super fancy tablet. So I've got, I've got literally, I've got it running on my Ooh. Samsung Galaxy Note. I've got it on a tab. We've got it on this uh, uh, eight inch the, Android yeah. tablet. Uh, it, it, we've it, we've it got it and then we've everywhere. got it on Windows 8 and yeah. Yeah. Everything. Everywhere. Oh, on, on we do our, our best to make sure that everybody can have access to it. Good. Here's one question I had for you. I don't know if this is, uh, and we should probably talk about what it actually does here in a second, but one question that I had was, is it possible to maybe start drawing something in one place and then continue it in another or something like that? Yeah, absolutely. It's oh, kind of like a dream that, you know, you've got like somebody sketching on the bus on their way into work and then they take that file and they put it on their desktop version of Sketchbook. There are different workflows for everybody. Maybe you want to use Dropbox, maybe you want to email it to yourself. Um, but yeah, absolutely. The, That's awesome. You can send those files back and forth across the versions. That's awesome. Cool. I want to learn how to do that because seriously, okay. a lot of times I, I have an idea while I'm out yeah. and I could sketch that on my little Note 3 or something. But then that thing is way too small to really yeah. mm -hmm. make it good. And now, is that a pro feature? Mm, no, it's just, you know, I mean, the note is so small anyway. Like, you know, it's all, all you've got is that little screen space. Yeah. Um, but it's not a pro feature to be able to transfer them back and forth. Awesome. So even if you're using the, if the free version, Express, you'll be able to transfer that file. Okay, sweet. So uh, before we it? get, hold on, before we Go get ahead. into that, um, as we discuss all of this, uh, we do have, we are live. Yes, so are. if you are in uh, watching, just head on over to the chat room at geekbeat.tv slash live and type your questions, your comments, your thoughts, all of that, and we'll try and bring that into the conversation. Yeah, we are watching. Like right now, Robert said, oh God, another Dave. Dave Peterson <laughs> said, oh Cap. Cap said, hence the nickname. <laughs> We're watching right now live, guys. So uh, just, All right. Yeah. So what is it? What is Sketchbook? What do people typically use Sketchbook for? People use Sketchbook for all sorts of things. We've got, you know, illustrators who like to draw and paint in it. And then we've also got industrial designers that design everything from shoes to lawnmowers to jewelry to everything in Sketchbook. Wow. It's really the painting and drawing program for everyone from professionals to newbies. What about me? I can't draw. My dad was an artist and I got none of it. He's a great artist. 
I got nothing. <laughs> Whatever. Your dad also spent a lifetime practicing. I think anybody can develop some skills if they dedicate a little attention to it. Yeah, I'm a big proponent of that. It's all about practice. Um, you know, if you're going to get better at anything, if you just put that time into it, you can't get worse. So <laughs> although you will need a little bit of skills and a little bit of time, we have a couple of tips and tricks and sketch to get you drawn faster and sort of smarter since it is a digital tool. So awesome. I'm going to show you some of those today. Okay, nice. good. All right. Uh, so what, what, what's the plan here? Well, like, hang on. Before we actually do this, I want to introduce a, a product, if you will, into the mix. <laughs> I, I've never used this before. It was not sent to us for review. I heard about it. I bought it. It just happened that they arrived today. Okay, yes. We have this little thing. It's called the Smudge Guard. I got you one also. Oh, cool. The Smudge Guard 2. And what it is is basically like a little glove, but it's missing most of its fingers. This one. Oh, look at that. See that? It's called the Smudge Guard 2 because it has two oh, it fingers. it protects. They also have the Smudge Guard with only has one. Now, the reason why. It feels I, so weird to put your thumb through there. The reason why I decided to get these is because. What's happened in the past when I draw on the screen or when I draw using a little tablet is the your your hand, let's say you're a little sweaty or hot or whatever, it kind of sticks to a screen. And this prevents that. So it lets you smoothly move across things. And cool. we'll see uh, we'll see if that does any good. But have you ever seen that before? That's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. I've never seen it. I like how it looks super cyberpunk. Yeah. They're cheap. They're like 15 or 16 bucks, but you have to go to their website. I can't even remember what it is. It's probably like smudgeguard.com. Who knows? Oh, yeah, smudgeguard.com. Oh, there you go, smudgeguard.com. The, the lady who invented it is an artist, and, uh, you know, might as well get one if you're going to do this a lot. Okay, that's yeah, all totally. I had to say. So how, how are we going to learn to draw? Okay, so I'm going to go over a couple of the sort of basic tools in Sketchbook, um, including switching your paintbrush, okay. uh, erasing, using layers to your advantage, and using the symmetry tools. And we're going to draw a character, uh, like just a cute little character face in Sketchbook. Oh, nice. I thought I was just going to scribble. Nope. <laughs> okay. Scribble a little bit if okay. you like. There's a little bit of scribbling. I'm counting on you to make me a great artist. Right. Yes, yes. Actually, Callie, I was thinking we could draw a little caricature of you, if that's okay. Oh. <laughs> nice. Okay. We're going to draw Callie. We're going to all draw Callie today. I nice. thought that would be kind of fun. All right. Well, you guys, uh, if you're joining in and doing this along with us at home uh, or at work, wherever you are, uh, you guys should share these drawings uh, afterwards. That's so right. We'll after open you, it up. After we're all done, everybody like tweet them at us or something like that because we want to see what you're drawing. <laughs> yes. And how your Cali drawing comes out. All right. Uh, well, so I guess the first thing, are we going to get acquainted with our little interface here first or what are we going to do? Yeah. Yeah, let's give a, an overview of the interface. So okay. I'm going to switch to my desktop view. And um, if you guys want to share along with me, you see my screen? Yep, OK, yeah. All right, great. So over here on your left hand side, you've got your brush tools. So the brushes should look pretty familiar to you. Um, it's normal brush things, mm -hmm. normal tools that you'd find in a regular art room. Pencils, pens, erasers, markers. Up at the top, you've got your top toolbar. So this is a lot of functional tools in Sketchbook. And it's also where if you need to open or close a layer palette or the brush palette, you're going to find those guys down here at the end. So um, we're definitely going to be using the layer palette. So you want to make sure that's open. You can click this guy to make sure he's open. You can drag him around and put him wherever you want. And then we're also going to be using the Copic Color Library. So Copic markers, they're kind of a standard in the industry. They put in their marker system into Sketchbook. So it's pretty cool to be able to use their colors. And you can literally go buy the marker off the shelf, like at an online store. Now, let so you... let's make sure we both got our layer palette open and our color library. I, I have it. OK, the, the layer palette, is that the one that this... looks like the little, the little three stacked pieces of paper? Yeah, yeah, that's exactly it. And it should you should have a background layer and a layer one maybe right now. Okay, yeah, I see it now. All right, I've got my cool. uh, Copic library and my my layers open. Hey, my Copic so library I love... has pretty cool looking colors in it already. They're kind it's of cool, like right? Purple. What I like about it is that if when you look at just this color wheel like this, 
sometimes I'll pick the same colors because you just naturally gravitate to them. But with the Copic library, I pick stuff that I wouldn't normally like think of, like this brown or something, right? Like maybe I wouldn't normally use that. So it gets you out of your comfort zone. Yeah. I like it. Okay. By the way, my, my, uh, you have a huge screen there, John. I know it's uh, gigantic. <laughs> I'm using I'm using HP uh, the HP uh, Z1 Generation Two. This is a 27 inch <laughs> touch screen. That is awesome, and I love it. <laughs> and I'm using the Acer Aspire R7. Uh, this is a Windows 8 tablet, and it, it is pretty awesome as well. This is a touch screen. This is what 15. Uh, yeah, I think it's 15.4 or something. And yours, you have the Acer pen. I do. Which this pen matches that one. And that makes, this whole thing is uh, pressure sensitive. Yes. So, which is important. Yeah. And I don't have the pressure sensitive thing going on on the, the Z1 screen. So I've got a little wh Wacom. How do you think that's pronounced? It's, Wacom? I think Wacom? it's Wacom. I think they, the corp, I think the corporate, it's I called corporate one day. I literally did because I was like, well, how do you say this? And, and they, they said, said wake them. Okay. Well, I've got, I, a wake I I've got a wake them into us. This is the medium into us tablet because it will let me do the pressure sensitive stuff. Mm -hmm. So Renee, what are you using on that end? Uh, so I'm using the Wacom Cintiq Companion. Uh, so it's a great little machine. It's like an all-in-one laptop shoved into a little Cintiq. Um, and it's it draws like a dream. And you have a pressure-sensitive pen as well. Yeah, it comes with its own pen, so you've got to use the special pen that comes with that. Okay. Pro tip. How important do you think our work is in terms of the pressure-sensitive pen? Like if, if people don't have a pressure-sensitive pen, Maybe they're trying to draw with a mouse or something. And mm -hmm. How big of a difference does it make? It makes a huge difference. And not only for your drawing, but also for your health. Um, you know, drawing with a mouse is just not a great thing to do to your wrist. Oh. And you could cause permanent damage. Okay. Um, so be sure to get something that's actually, you know, will keep your, your bones in line. So even nice. if you don't have a, a computer that has a touch screen or a tablet, you can get one of these little Wacom tablets I mean, they start at like $99 at Best Buy. Yeah, really? Wow. Okay. Yeah. I thought they were more expensive. Well, this That's is great. the medium one is one, uh, it's 200 on uh, at Best Buy. Okay. But if you take in the Amazon, the Amazon printout, it's 186 on Amazon and okay. they'll match it. Uh, and that's for the medium size one. The small one was 99 bucks. All right. Okay. So now that we've gone over that, let's move on. All right, you guys ready? So the first thing I'd like you to do is to select the pencil tool. He's this topmost guy right here. And let's make sure that you've got a dark color selected, like a black. You can either select your color from the Copic library, or you can use this color puck right here. Click and drag in the color puck to change the color. You can also click in it, and you can get this little like regular rainbow um, interface that you might be familiar with. Sweet. Cool. I like how if you... I like how if you click in it and you drag up, it gets lighter. Yeah. And if you drag down, it gets darker. That's awesome. Yeah, it's pretty nice, right? It's quick for being able to change your color if you're doing shading. Okay. All right. Newbie question. So we've got the Hold pencil on. tool selected. Mm -hmm. The next thing I'd like you to do is to turn on the mirroring tool. Wait You'll find that on the top toolbar right here. Callie has a question. Oh, sorry, Callie. Why, what's the difference between the two colors that I see, the palettes, the white and the black? Oh, this one's not a color palette. This is your brush palette. So if you drag and draw left and right in it, it'll change the brush size. Oh, oh sweetness. Awesome. Pretty cool, right? Yeah. The idea is that you'll never need a keyboard. So for sketchbook, some things you still want a keyboard, but they try to make it very much so that you, all you need is your pen. Okay, cool. Thank you. Okay, now moving on. All right, so on the top toolbar, I'd like you to turn on the symmetry tool, which is these two little squiggly lines right there. So once you click on it, you'll see that there'll be a dotted line down the center of your screen. Now, anything you draw on one side appears on the other. Um, are we, we're doing the squiggly lines with the, 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 the vertical one, right? It looks like an hourglass. Yeah, yeah you, got it. So you already I, have yours. I don't have a... Uh, click it again to turn do it, it again. on. Sorry, that's because I screwed up your desktop. See, you have a gigantic oh, desktop. Oh, I do. So move this over to the middle. Oh, yeah. Uh, there you go. Pan out there. by using the eyeglass tool here. Okay. Ooh, oh, how did you where, do that? Where was the eyeglass tool? Eyeglass tool is on the top toolbar right here. He's this little spyglass. Oh, there. And then, and then go to the middle and drag and draw. 
Drag down or up? Um, it, any direction will let you go in or out. See uh, your zoom? There yeah. you go. Sweetness. Did you get it? Okay, yeah. Got it. Can you see your dotted line now? Now I do. Bingo. Okay, great. All right, so we're going to use that symmetry tool to our advantage because that means we only have to draw half the drawing, which is awesome. We can be lazy. Oh, I like that. I like being lazy. <laughs> we all like being lazy in the digital age, right? We want the computer <laughs> to do it for us. So the first thing I'd like you to do is to draw half a circle, and you'll see the other side will just draw for you. So we're just going to draw a nice big circle in the middle. Okay, mine looks more like a heart. I'm redoing this. Okay, you can hit this little <laughs> red arrow right here up in the top corner, top toolbar to go back. <laughs> I keep getting like this Do little it again. It's okay. It's not a problem. <laughs> I this actually... is going to be our outline for the drawing, so it's okay if it's not perfect. <laughs> That's as go. perfect as I can make it. <laughs> it's like fine, it's fine. Once you've got that done, what I'd like you to do is draw a line that cuts the circle in half, kind of like this. So I'm going to make my line a little bit curved, like that, almost like you can imagine like the um, equator on a globe. I got the curve down. Mm, nice, nice. The next step I'd like you to do is I'm going to draw a circle along that line. So what this line is, is where we're going to place our eyes. So I'm going to pick somewhere right around there, and I'm going to make this circle sort of be cut in half by that line. Nice. You got it? Yes. Awesome. It's starting to look like a Teenage so now, Mutant Ninja Turtle. <laughs> <laughs> From the eye line to the bottom of the chin, let's make a mark that sort of um, defines that center of, of this area right here. So the center of this area. So I'm going to draw it right here along the symmetry line like that. Just like a little mouth? Yeah. It's going to be the where the mouth is going to be. That's right. I'm telling you, that's a Teenage Mutant Ninja <laughs> Turtle right now. I, it kind of does, huh? It looks like wait, it. Wait, didn't she say we were drawing me? Yeah, don't worry. We're getting there. Uh, <laughs> I swear it's going to look like you, Kelly. I swear. <laughs> All right, the next thing I'd probably do is um, do an outline of where the hair is going to be. So if we imagine this big circle is where the face is, the hair is probably going to be just a little bit off to the side of that. So I'm going to sort of just follow my circle, and then I'm going to go down a little bit and kind of like make a little outline of where the Callie's hair is going to be. Okay. All right. Oopsie. Sorry, I'm getting a little bit of stutter on mine. Here's a <laughs> hey, wait, I'm redoing mine. Hold on. <laughs> wait, first of all, can switch to mine. <laughs> Just let's show them what I did first. That's a, that's a messed up looking hair. Okay. Oh, I'm sure it's fine. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Okay, so the next step, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to use what we've drawn as an outline for our actual drawing. So um, we're going to create a new layer on top of this. And then we're going to pull the opacity of this layer down, and we're going to actually draw our cute little character on that layer. Okay. So let's let's go to the layers palette, and you can see on layer one, we've got the little outline that we did. Let's hit the plus button to create a new layer. Okay. Everybody got that? Got yep. it. All right. Let's go back to layer one, and let's turn the opacity down by using this slider right here. I'm going to make it pretty faint. You want to be able to see it, but you don't want it to be distracting. So what percentage opacity do you have? You know, it doesn't have like a percentage. Oh, it does. It's down at the bottom. Um, I have 19 is probably where I like it. Okay. But it's really a personal preference. Mine's at 22. Mine's at 19 right. because I follow the expert. Right. I'm a rebel. <laughs> All right. Now let's go back to uh, layer two, and we're going to actually start drawing Callie's face. So we click on layer two, and that selects that one. So we go back to it. Oh wait, I that's have right. Background and layer one. Well, that's okay. You, it's is that what one. we mean? Yeah. Okay. You'd be on layer. Uh, yeah, one. as long as you've got the background on a separate layer than the one that we're drawing. On. Okay, that's fine. All right. So the next step is I am going to draw sort of a C shape around the circle that we made for her eyeballs. So if you watch, I'm going to draw it right about here, just kind of like a little C shape. And that's going to be Callie's upper and lower lid. Oh, nice. Okay. The next step is I'm going to draw a U shape 
hanging down from the top of her lid. And those are going to be Callie's eyes, just like that. Okay. Th now, is that you? Should, I'm having a hard time seeing from here. Is it just like the bottom half of that line that that intersects the eyes, or is it the whole thing? I'm sorry. I'm not sure that I know what you mean. Oh, okay. Where you drew the little U. Oh, there. Yeah. I can see better now. I can see better. Okay, sweet. So I guess. That helps. Yeah, that helped. Because I have my pen on a fairly thin. Uh, in order to do that, the eye, the C shape. I guess mm -hmm. I need to go thicker. Yeah, and you can do that by using this puck right here and just drag and Wait. draw to the left or the right. It's usually to the right to make it thicker. John, look at this. Okay. I don't think I'm using a separate layer. I think that's uh, my problem. No, you're on that. Uh, okay, let's see. <laughs> hang on, hang on just a second. You see, now here's another little trick, and I know we didn't get to this yet, but on the layers of the little eyeball, and if you yeah. click that, it'll hide it. So, so I was. You okay. were drawing. It was just lighter. Um, so now click layer one. Okay. Oops. And unhide there. So then I just want to make my pen size. A you need to take. You need to make the opacity. You see, you did. You took the opacity down on your top layer. Oh. Not, not your bottom layer. Okay. Got it. That's cool. That's how we learn things, though, is by messing up. I accidentally locked it. I think. <laughs> Sorry. There you go. All right. So bring that back all the way up. Yeah. And then background needs to come down. There you go. Okay. Yay. Now you got it. Now I see it. Cool. All right. Okay, so I got the C, and then I'm catching up now. And okay, a little, a little U. U. Like that kind of thing. Yep. I made a U shape coming down from the top of your eyelid, and that's going to be your eye. Her eyes look better than mine. My <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> Yeah. The next step is I'm going to give Callie a pupil. So I'm kind of going to echo the same U shape that I just made. Um, and I'm going to fill it in. So I'm going to fill it in just like that, right inside of her eye. Nice. And then I might so I select an eraser at this point, which we can go over to the brush palette over here. And then I'm going to select this eraser. And I'm going to give her a little bit of a sparkle in her eye. Just erase just a little bit like that. I'm on a pretty thin pencil. I have to yeah. I, make I, it bigger. Yeah. I'm coloring in your eye, <laughs> which is better than spitting in your eye. <laughs> oh, it's much more preferred that you just hey, color. Why is right. mine so thin? Um, now, do we have, if we have a keyboard available, can mm -hmm. we do the thing where we, where we hit, or since we're using the pencil, I don't know, can we change it using like the little brackets, you know, to make it bigger and smaller? Yep, you can use the brackets or you can hold down the B key the B? and then anywhere on your screen, yes, the B key, you can drag and draw and it'll act just like this puck. Oh, nice. There you go. Now you got a much No, bigger. it's it's at 14. It's at the okay, max look, that I can you go. You can do this. Oh, yeah, that's as big as it'll go, probably because it's a pen. That's okay. Oh, okay. So each each uh, hard, piece of hardware that we use, like the pens, they have yeah. different settings themselves? They do, but you can break all the settings and make your own custom brushes on oh. anything you like. Oh, okay. But the default tools are locked down. So. It sounds like, Callie, Callie, you've probably got a small, or you've probably got a large canvas, so your pencil seems small. Oh. Yeah, that's why, because I made her canvas really huge. <laughs> we probably did. should have. We probably should have done some kind of. Thank uh, you, John, because that. you're making my Callie look fairly evil. Nice. <laughs> you guys caught up? You ready to move on? Yes. Wait, no, Wait. she doesn't have her little Oh, pupils my eraser. Yet. I forgot so, the eraser because it took me yeah. forever. <laughs> Get your eraser. Is this the eraser? That's one of them. No. Get the other one. There. There you Just go. A little sparkle. <laughs> nice. <laughs> okay. The next step is probably to give you uh, some eyebrows. So the way that I draw eyebrows is I just follow the curve of the eye. I go a little bit higher than the eye, right about here, and I just follow that natural curve. Oh, nice. Oh, we go back to the pencil, right? Yeah, back to the pencil. I'm okay. sorry, I didn't specify. Oh, no, that's oh, right. Oh, yeah, I better do that, too. Oops. <laughs> okay. Or you'll just erase nothing. Right. Okay. 
And this Once is you've where... got your eyebrows, I'd probably give Callie a big smile because she's got a really nice smile. <laughs> so how I would do that is I'd look at where my little mouth line is that we made earlier. Um, and I would draw like a D that's facing downwards. So like a big D. So let's start out with a line like this. And then I'll connect it down at the bottom. Just like that. Okay. So I messed nice up. Line. I, I accidentally hit the little button on my pen and it started mm -hmm. drawing a, a permanent line everywhere. I had to figure out how to stop that. Nice. Uh oh. Yeah. So the button on the pen opens up a uh, like a quick menu like this. So um, yeah, that's that, that gives you access to all your other tools. So it's good to try and avoid that while you're just trying to draw. All right. I got my mouth. Hang on. I'm way Yay. behind. I, I've got a. <laughs> I screwed up the eyebrows so bad. I had what did to, you do to the eyebrows? I gave you a very surprised expression. <laughs> like I plugged my... <laughs> okay, I'm happy with the oh, eyebrows no, let me now. See. Oh, it looks cute. You guys are doing so good. Sorry, I wasn't watching the Skype window, but you guys are doing awesome. <laughs> okay, what were we supposed... We need a mouth, okay. so Yeah, yes. so you draw a line and The mouth is like an upside down like D, D to give her a big smile. Okay, nice. Oh, yeah. Oh my, <laughs> I've got... <laughs> See, something's wrong with my pen. It's like whenever I get it nearby, it's just drawing the lines. I've got crazy mustache. I don't know Beard what, thing going what on. What did I do? That... I don't know. Give me, <laughs> let me see your screen and maybe I can try and help. Oh, Ken, can you show? Yeah, he's so got it. I, when I get the pen here, see, it's just like wherever I put my pen. Oh, uh, yeah. It looks like what you're doing is you're in like the, the line drawing mode. So you can check on your top toolbar if you want to look at my screen. Uh -huh. You've got this option, which is free draw. It looked like you were doing that drawing, which is just like draw lines like this, right? Yeah, I don't That's want to do that. So if you make sure that you've got this squiggly line selected, then you can do free drawing like we were doing earlier. Oh. Did that work? No. I, oh. well, uh, well, just go touch it. Can you just <laughs> touch it up there without a pen? Does that make any difference? That is selected. I don't know what's going on. No, I'm here. not sure then. Hang on. Maybe I've done something. <laughs> I've, I've screwed it up. I'll just do it with my finger here. Okay, I'm Does it selecting my pin. Okay, <laughs> yeah, what is that? As big as so scary. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so now let's give Kelly a cute little nose. So between her eyes and between her mouth, let's find that halfway point and I'm just gonna draw a cute little nose like that. Yeehaw. Aww. It's pretty easy, so nice and simple. Ugh, mine looks like a mustache. <laughs> <laughs>